guys, I kid you not, I see her right here. Do you have Instagram? That's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin, and I'm back again with another video. So we got a bit of unorthodox video. I just left the gym. As you see, still got that pump going on a little bit. We in the vet with it. Now, guys, today's video, I, I want to discuss something that's on my head right now because it's literally just happened to me. And as you see by the title, guys, bro, I love getting rejected. I just realized that. So. Let me tell you a little story about what just happened in the gym right now. So uh, today's Sunday, I decided to go to the gym. I never go to the gym on Sundays, right? And when I went in there, I was doing like some shoulder press, some legs, some upper chest, right? And I saw this straight baddie, bro. Like my type, I would say like a nine and a half out of 10. The boys on the close friend stories uh, saw her, y'all guys know. But basically she looked like this Colombian, long dark hair, surgery body like you can tell she has some work done crazy body everybody in the gym is looking at her the baddest chick in the gym right so of course i'm just going about my way i don't go there to actually pick up girls but what i noticed is that i felt her choosing me right and i feel this through a few certain things so vicinity like i'm going here she's there too i go here she's there too she's looking at me right and keep in mind this is not the first time i've seen this girl in the gym this is probably my third time every single time i'm there like uh, she we're catching looks right we're looking at each other whatever so i'm like okay it's a chill sunday might as well make my move and you guys know i'm not on dating apps right now because i'm trying to play to my weaknesses which is more meeting girls in person which i've been doing really really good at by the way if you're on the patreon you already know too so i i swore she was choosing me right so what i do of course i go up there and i approach her so um she's walking past me right so i didn't have to physically approach her she's walking past me and then i'm like uh she had her earphones in i kind of just waved for a second i was trying to get her attention and she took it out and right as i was about to like ask her a question i was i think i was about to ask her like yo you are you from columbia i don't know what i was about to say it really doesn't matter what you say as long as you break the ice right and then after that she was like uh i don't speak english and i was like oh okay carry on have a good workout right and in my head i'm thinking one this girl is a straight lion this girl knows that she speaks english it's just a subtle way of rejecting me all right yes oh i don't uh, no, no english no i don't speak english like yes you do you're you're in florida central florida and you look like you speak english and she had an american accent like come on bro i'm not that stupid but anyways in my head i was like yeah i definitely just got rejected uh right then but what i realized is that bro i just love rejection and the reason is is because rejection is a thousand times better than regret guys especially when it comes to meeting and approaching these girls in person that's what i've learned i would a thousand times get rejected then have that regret in my heart in my mind thinking about what could have happened and I feel like this is one of the biggest things guys who do more in-person dating, approaching, whether it be choosing signals or not, need to realize is that you're always taking a risk with meeting, meeting a girl or going out to her, right? Even if she does give you choosing signals, one, like I did, you can kind of misinterpret choosing signals. Um, and two, girls just be playing games with you, bro. Maybe she just thought my biceps were nice and she just she just kept staring at my body, right? Maybe, maybe she thought my shoes were nice and she was just looking at my shoes, right? But maybe she wasn't romantically interested in me, which is totally fine. But I got this over this overwhelming sense of like happiness when I got rejected. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna even take that as a fail or a bad thing because at the end of the day, I would have felt worse if I would have just carried on my way, just going about never speaking to her or anything, right? And this has happened a lot of instances with me. Even when I do those in-person in videos or whatever, I would a thousand times get rejected then start regretting the things that I didn't do. Now, keep in mind, I usually put myself in position to never get rejected. And honestly, I'm not really used to it. So the first reason is because online dating, you're put in a position to where if you get rejected, it doesn't feel or hurt as bad, right? So rejection on online equals a girl not replying to you, uh, a girl not swiping right on you, a girl leaving you on red, right? Like those things are kind of normal. Like we're all used to like getting left on red in some aspect or a girl not really feeling us online. We just move on to the next. But when you get hit with that in-person rejection, 
So some examples include, oh, I don't speak English. Number two, I have a boyfriend when they know that they're single. Number three, they give you the wrong number. Whew, that's a tough one right there. Or number four, they flat out ignore you. You ever just watch out to a girl try to get her attention and she just dead ass acted like you wasn't even there. Like straight up, you're a ghost to her. That That's like the, that rejection kind of hurts, right? That's kind of low. But even then, I would still be excited. I would still be like, yo, at least I made the approach. Because you gotta keep in mind with attractive girls like the one I approached at the gym, most guys will never approach her. So you're automatically in an, an advantage in order to get her information, get her number, whatever you wanna do, because most guys are just gonna sit there and stare. I, I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen her in the gym three times now, Every single time, I never see any dude approach her. Nobody, right? Maybe on the low, they'll do it when she leaves the gym or whatever, or through IG, right? So they'll, they'll like find her IG because she's tagging the gym photos or whatever and try to DM message her through there. That's not how you get girls at the gym. I mean, I've done that before too, but she's gonna respect you more if you approach her. And even though I got rejected, I know that she respects me a lot more than all the dudes who slid in her DMs and also the guys who just stare at her like a freaking creep. Now, the reason why I'm telling this story is because for some reason you guys think I have just the greatest dating life of all time. Like Austin never gets rejected. Um, my sexual market value is super high. I got looks, money, status. Despite all those three things, guys, you'll never perfectly be somebody's type and I'm not everybody's type. I know that. This girl could have been into white dudes, could have been into Hispanic rappers. She could have been into dudes who don't wear hats dudes who don't look like Bryson Tiller or Russell Wilson, I don't know. And I respect that. So this goes to show that I do have fail sometimes too, especially with in-person dating approaching, you're definitely dealing with an even greater numbers game than you are with online dating. And truthfully, that's just the way it is. But also what I've noticed while it's being more in-person is that the, the reward is greater. So let's say that this did go well, which I did uh, also approach a chick at the gym a few weeks ago or about a month ago. I spoke about it on Patreon and that went completely well. Went in my favor, got our IG. Um, a few weeks later, we went on a date, bada bada boom, business meeting, you guys already know. Everything worked in my favor, but you know, sometimes 50, 50, 60, 40, it doesn't. And I was watching a video, I heard one of my bros, FedEx, he was like, a uh, successful approach isn't about you getting the number or you know getting any information on her the successful approach is you actually getting the balls to actually go go up and approach her and no lie the more you do it the better you'll get at it right and the more you'll take rejection as like a little flick to the shoulder it's literally nothing and let's not forget rejection makes us overall stronger guys so that was my little story today. That's why I love getting rejected by a woman. It just makes me so happy whenever I do because I know at least I wasn't afraid to actually do it and I did it. So if you guys wanna see some actual receipts, some more uh, dating talks, more business talk, like videos just like this, but even deeper, um, then check out my Patreon. Link will be down below in the description. I'm posting a receipt of today, actually. So you guys on the Patreon, go check that out right now. Guys, I kid you not, I see her right here, and I'm in my vest, she's walking on the gym, I'm gonna try to talk to her. Hey, I was trying to ask if you're Colombian. You don't speak English? No. Are, are you from Colombia? No, I'm from Venezuela. Did you lie to me? Oh, Venezuela, okay. Do you have Instagram? Huh? You have Instagram? No. no Instagram? Okay, I'll see you. I love getting rejected. That's what it is, guys. That's what it is. She wasn't a gold digger. I pulled up in the vet. Still got rejected.